Hello grade 11 students, welcome back to another exciting topic about earth and life science. This module focuses on plate movement leading to the formation of folds and faults. You must explain how the movement of plates leads to the formation of folds and faults by doing different activities included in this module. Ladies and gentlemen, our lesson 10. Movement of plates and formation of folds and faults. This module included lessons about the movements of plates and formation of folds and faults. After going through this module, you are expected to number one, identify the three types of plate movements from a short excerpt. Second, Expound three types of plate movement based on plate tectonics theory using an illustration. And third, cite specific examples of landforms as outcomes of plate movement. The Earth's outer shell, the lithosphere, consisting of the crust and uppermost mantle, is divided into a patchwork of large tectonic plates that moves slowly relatively to each other. There are seven to eight major plates and many minor plates. The major plates are Pacific Plate, North American Plate, Eurasian Plate, Australian Plate, African Plate, South American Plate, and Antarctic Plate. To make it easier to remember, consider the seven continents of the Earth. But in this case, Europe and Asia are combined to form Eurasian Plate. In addition is the Pacific Plate. Varying between 0 to 100 millimeters per year, the movement of a plate is driven by convection in the underlying hot and viscous mantle. Let's recall that convection currents are identified in Earth's mantle. Heated mantle material is shown rising from deep inside the mantle while cooler mantle material sinks creating a convection current. It is thought that this type of current is responsible for the movements of the plates of Earth's crust. Earthquakes, volcanic activity, mountain building, and oceanic trench formation occur along plate boundaries in zones that may be anything from a few kilometers to a few hundred kilometers wide. There are three main types of plate boundaries. Remember that plate boundaries are the edges where two plates meet. These types of plate boundaries are convergent plate boundary, divergent plate boundary, and Transform Plate Boundary Let's start with Convergent Plate Boundary The word convergent is the adjective form of converge and synonyms of collide. In simple words, converge means to come together or to meet at one point. In convergent boundary, the plates are colliding as shown in the figure. Subduction zones occur when one or both of the tectonic plates are composed of oceanic crust. The denser plate is abducted underneath the less dense plate. 
The plate being forced under is eventually melted and destroyed. Convergent boundaries occur when tectonic plates move towards each other and strike one another. If you look at this map of the major plates, you can notice several that are convergent boundaries. As these plates move and strike one another, you may get earthquakes, volcanoes, or deep trenches. There are three major types of convergent boundaries, oceanic and continental lithosphere, oceanic and oceanic lithosphere, and continental and continental lithosphere. Oceanic and continental convergent boundaries occur when oceanic crust subducts underneath the continental crust. The oceanic lithosphere has a greater density than the continental lithosphere, and as it collides with the continental crust, it subducts underneath the continental lithosphere. As it sinks, magma is formed and begins to rise to the surface and may form volcanic mountains. Earthquakes may also occur and deep trenches may be formed. An example is when the oceanic Nazca Plate subducts underneath the continental South American Plate. At this location, the Atacama Trench has been formed in the ocean and the volcanic mountain Iascar is located on the land. When oceanic lithosphere collides with oceanic lithosphere, a similar event occurs. The older oceanic crust is denser than the younger crust and subducts underneath. As it subducts, magma begins to rise to the surface and this can create volcanic island arcs. An example is the portion of the North American plate covered with ocean subducts underneath the Pacific Oceanic Plate. The Aleutian Islands have been created from this collision. When continental strikes continental lithosphere, neither crust subducts nor is magma. Earthquakes occur. These two Graham crackers illustrate what happens. The two plates buckle and create folded mountains. An example is the Indian plate colliding with the Eurasian plate and creating the Himalayan mountain range. I hope that helps with different types of convergent boundaries. The second type of plate boundaries is the divergent plate boundaries. The word divergent means to divide. In simpler definitions, it means to move away from each other or to separate. Divergent boundaries where two plates are moving apart. The space created can also fill with new crustal material sourced from molten magma that forms below. Divergent boundaries can form within continents but will eventually open up and become ocean basins. Divergent plate boundaries occur when huge tectonic plates move away from one another. This occurs above rising convection currents. The rising magma pushes up on the bottom of the lithosphere and flows laterally beneath it. This lateral flow causes the plates to move in the direction of the flow. At the plate's boundary, the two plates move in opposite directions. Divergent boundaries are constructive boundaries because new crosses form. As the plates move apart, molten magma fills in the gap and creates new crust. If you look at the map of the major tectonic plates, you can see several divergent plate boundaries. There are two major types of divergent boundaries, continental and continental lithosphere and oceanic and oceanic lithosphere. Oceanic and oceanic divergent boundaries occur when two oceanic plates move away from one another. This is where seafloor spreading takes place. The most common example is the mid-ocean ridge, which stretches around the world. The mid-ocean ridge can be seen here in red. Divergent boundaries are constructive boundaries because the rising magma creates new oceanic crust and lithosphere. 
the mid-ocean ridge runs right through Iceland. Here's what it looks like on land. Imagine this same formation. Underwater continental and continental divergent boundaries occur when two plates of continental lithosphere move away from one another. As the magma rises, new lithosphere is created. The East African Rift Valley was created when continental and continental divergent boundaries move away from each other. The Red Sea is another example. The Red Sea was formed by the divergence between the African Plate and the Arabian Plate. The rift transitioned eventually from a continental and continental to a continental and oceanic plate boundary. The third type of plate boundary is the transform plate boundary. To transform in plate boundary is to move in a side-to-side -side motion. Remember, 2S, side-to-side. -side. In simpler meanings, we have to move or slide past one another. Transform boundaries where plates slide past each other. The relative motion of the plates is horizontal. They can occur underwater or on land, and cross is neither destroyed nor created. Because of friction, the plates cannot simply glide past each other. Rather, stress builds up in both plates and when it exceeds the threshold of the rocks, the energy is released, causing earthquakes. Let's move on to folds and faults. These two geologic terms are both types of crust deformation. Deformation involves change in shape and or volume of substances in the rock. Folds and faults are also visible effects of plate tectonics or movement of lithospheric plates. Folds are bends in rocks that are due to compressional forces. Compressional force occurs when a physical force presses inward on an object causing it to become compacted or squeezed. Folds are most visible in rocks that layered also known as sedimentary rocks. Folds are formed when heat and pressure are applied to the rock. The higher the temperature, the more pliable rocks become. Folds are more likely to occur when the deformation caused by the compression is applied slowly. Folds of alternate layers of limestone and Kurt occur in Greece. The limestone and kurt were originally deposited as flat layers on the floor of a deep sea basin. These folds were created by alpine deformation. If the pressure or compression that is applied to a rock undergoing a fold is greater than the internal strength of the rock, then the rock will fracture. This is how faults are formed. Faults are fractures in Earth's crust where rocks on either side of the crack have slid past each other. Faults are defined as the displacement of rock that were once connected along a fault line. Sometimes, the cracks are tiny, as thin as hair, with barely noticeable movement between the rock layers. But faults can also be hundreds of miles long, such as the San Andreas Fault in California and the Anatolian Fault in Turkey, both of which are visible from space. That ends our lesson today. Congratulations. Keep safe by staying at home. See you next meeting.